In the last video, we enabled stat pro so that we can now see it in our add-ins ribbon. What we're going to do in this video is learn how to create dummy variables using stat pro. So what we have, the data that we're playing with today is bank salaries data, um, where we have an employee number. We've got the education level of the employee, one denoting a employee finished high school, two that they finished some college courses, three obtained a bachelor's degree, four took some graduate courses, or five obtained a graduate degree. Um, we also have job grade. Now this is the way the comp the bank um, does the job grades within their company coded one for the lowest job grade to six the highest job grade. We have years of experience. That's years of experience with the bank that that is has this data and years um, prior, which is years of banking experience prior to working at this bank. We also have the age of the employee and the gender. Um, note that gender is a binary male-female. Now that is short-sighted because gender is not binary, um, but a lot of data is collected this way. Um, so it's important that we still uh, recognize how to handle data collected this way while simultaneously recognizing that it does have the shortcoming of um, putting people in a binary category where there isn't one. Um, and then we've got PC job, which will be yes, if an employee's job requires um, a substantial amount of PC expertise or computer expertise, and no, if um, an employee's job does not, as well as the employee's salary. Now, what we're going to be doing is just playing around with this data. I'm not, um, in our lecture, we're going to use this data set to um, talk about um, different things from about categorical, categorical variables. Um, but I've already labeled each of the categorical variables here, um, job grade being one of the ones we're going to be playing around with and gender being the other. Now, a categorical variable is one that um, can't be measured. Um, while job grade does increase um, um, the, with uh, one being the lowest job grade and six being the highest, um, it's not like measuring height or even age or something that has the same distance between each measurement. There's somewhat of an arbitrary um, um, scaling that happens so that we can't really tell where one, um, the difference between one and two isn't necessarily the same as the difference between five and six. And um, gender is also categorical because you can see that people are lumped into one of two categories. Um, now, when we're doing regression with categorical variables, we create these things called dummy variables. Now, it's okay if you don't know why we're doing this today. This is going to be just a technical exercise on creating the dummy variables. And we're going to get into what to do with these dummy variables in lecture next week. So to create dummy variables, the idea is that wherever somebody's in job grade one, um, I'm going to create um, a new column that says job grade one, and it's going to say one, 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 one. And anybody who's in job grade two, we're going to have a new column saying job grade two, and it's just going to denote where anybody is in job grade two, and so forth with each job grade. The best way for me to show you how to do this is by actually doing this, and, and I ask that you do the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Stat Pro, and under Data Utilities, we're going to create dummy variables. And I should get this window popping up. And then I'm going to click in this um, underscore kind of button right here. And I'm going to select my data set, or I could just select the job grade category. Note if I try to do anything like control shift down right now, it doesn't work, unfortunately. So instead, I'm going to click on the first corner, drag down, hold down shift, and then click on the bottom right corner. So I use shift to do that, or I could just um, drag through it all. But ultimately, I'm going over the range A2 through A210. And I'm going to select OK. 
OK. And then I get this other window popping up, several dummies based on, categor on a categorical variable. That's what I want because it's a categorical variable. And the next window that pops up is a listing of all the variables. I'm going to try to create a categorical variable for job grade. So I'm going to select job grade. This is the variable that I'm going to focus on. And I'm going to select OK. And now I've got all of these columns that just immediately populate. Now what I can see here is I've got six different categories. One for each job grade. Remember that there were job grades from one through six. So wherever I see an employee with a job grade one, I'm going to see a one under job grade one and a zero under any other job grade. This tells me that that employee is in job grade one. And a zero will tell me that they're not in that category. If I scroll further down in my data, here I have employees with job grade two. And you can see that in the second column, which denoted job grade two, I have all the ones. And in every other column, I have zero, meaning that they're not in the other job grades. If I go all the way down, I can see job grade sixes over here. And I can see that for those employees with job grade six, should actually do it like this. I have zeros for job grades one through five and ones for job grade six. That is what a dummy variable does. It puts ones in the category in which um, each line of data belongs. Now we're going to do the same thing for the gender category. So I'm going to hit stat pro again, go back to data utilities, create a dummy variable. And now you can see that the range has expanded to include all of the dummy variables. But the problem here is that I don't have um, data. I, I don't have my headers in, in row one, and it's gone all the way to row one. So I should reselect my data. Mm. So I'm going to go select my data by hitting this underscore. I'm going to go from um, A2 all the way down through two t O210. So A through to O210. OK. And I've got several dummies based on a categorical variable. OK. And now I'm going to select the variable gender because that's what I want to create a category for this time. OK. And now I've got two new columns shown right here for gender female and gender male. So wherever I see an employee, that is male, they're going to have a one under male and zero under female. I have the next two be uh, next three being female. So you can see I've got the three ones under female and they have zeros for males and so forth for the remaining categories or sorry, the remaining lines of data. And there we have it. That's how you create dummy variables, which we'll be doing quite a bit of as we explore regression.